An example about getting the value immediately, we were monitoring a Web3 application that I just started monitoring. We were getting the first data points, somebody is exercising this application, and we can investigate those poor transactions. We just started exercising the application. These are the first data points that we have here. And then we have some transactions that are performing poorly, and we can concentrate on those by eliminating the good transactions or those with the good response time. The definition of good or bad response times is defined in the administration, and you can easily modify that. But look what happened here. We're looking at the poor transactions. Right now, there is no geographical location. This is an internal application. I can actually see the client types and response time, and I can see the transaction that's misbehaving. And I can go and look at traces. Now, important to understand, this is always on tracing mechanism. I don't have to trigger tracing or start tracing. By default, the server starts, our tracing mechanism starts. And when I'm looking at these transactions, I can actually choose the transaction that I'm interested in investigating. And then I get a summary information. Response time, client application, in this case it was Internet Explorer. When it started, how it performed. Location, if it's an external facing application. In our case, it's actually running internally on a local machine and exercised from local machines. And then we have a summary of response times, pretty much where we're spending the time. In this case, it's the server, as well as the top consuming methods and the top consuming SQL statements. Now, if I look at this view, pretty much it looks like database is not a problem. Database is actually performing pretty quick. And for the methods that I have, it looks like the top method is taking 27 seconds, and I can see the name of that method. I can also click on the drill down icon to take me to the trace of that transaction and see additional information about it, including an alarm icon or an error icon indicating to me that this method was actually sending an exception. We had a problem sending email, and I have the method name, I have the exception name, and I can communicate that information with my developers or whoever is in charge on the mail system or the mail configuration and explain that this specific method is consuming a lot of time because we're trying to send email, but also we're unable to do so. This operation is actually failing. This is actually a great example. A lot of people play with plants by WebSphere. That is actually a default sample application that comes with the application server. You exercise the application, you submit orders, and most people are not even aware of problems happening within the application. They see a couple of pages being slow, especially when you do that submit order. But this always on transaction tracing mechanism shows you specifically where the problem is and clearly indicates that you had a problem, you had an exception with that application.